Okay, so good morning everyone and welcome back in today's class. Okay, no problem Kunal, that's that's fine. Okay, welcome back in today's class. Today we are on the day number 10 of our service now techno functional training. In the last 10 days we started, we started our journey. Uh, maybe a quick recap we can say we started with the ITL, ITSM, ITL4, practices, SVC, SVS. We discuss about these things. <clears throat> Then we come on the BA part that what are the core activities, responsibility of a business analyst to be take care. That is another thing we discuss. We see that what are the stakeholder, how the stakeholder are important for us. One more topic we completed and after that we are landing into the or we started on our service now journey. We see that what is a tool called service now, how it's be, how it has been defined in the background. I'll not say that upfront. In the defining the background, like how it's architecture, database, data centers, recovery, failover, transfer, all the things have been mentioned. And then we entered into the service now with the user management concept that what is user, what is role, what is group. We discussed multiple roles here. We created a multiple users, multiple groups, <clears throat> and we see that what happening in the background. In the last two or three days, when we are uh, before the weekend, we started on the service now navigation part that how I, I navigate this particular tool. So for that, what we have, we learned about the two major concepts. Panel frame and the and the application navigator. And now we will be starting a next topic of the same <clears throat> in the same area is called the. Content navigation, OK. So I can I'm not I'm saying content navigation. It's content frame, not navigation. Maybe yes. OK, that's fine. It look good. OK, so this is the area which is called the content frame. This is the place where you do all your. I can say operations in service now. Right, so like if I say then in, in your mobile phone, what is the content area? When you open any specific record and you are able to see only just that record are able to do the things only in that record that is a. I can call it a content frame. Practically, if I say that these things are very, very less important, but but uh, theoretically part we have to be complete these things as well. So now I can say that this is my content. Frame or the content area specifically. It means here I can see my actual data. So let me show you some important points today. OK, which are be which are be good to know from the consulting perspective, from the operational perspective. And that you need to be understand the things from the. Are you doing that? Hello. OK, so let me open the. Let me search for an incident as an application. OK, now if you see here, let me. See a little bit. OK, now if you see that this is an application navigator and I have this content frame and if I click on the open here. OK. This is a view has been open. This view has been open in the content frame, so from here till here. It is a content frame. from here till here. It is a content frame. So this view has been open. Let me maximize this. What this view called? And and these words, these terms, you have to be remembered now going forward. Because if I say OK, open this view, you should know that what view I am talking. So as I can see multiple records here in the format of a row and column. These are the column and these are the rows for me, right? These are the headings, columns for me, and these are the rows for me. So this is called the list view for me. This is a list view. First point that you have to remember that this is a list view where I can see a set of records on the page. So now you can see that 20 records out of 40 on this list view. 
And another point is important to understand that this is a PDI. This is my personal development instance and the data which are able to see is a complete dummy data. It is a complete demo data. Whenever we buy service now instance. OK, suppose you you are in a in a in a, in a deal now and your customer say yes, uh, I'm OK to go for the service now. Then you say service now. Can you give me an instance? So they will never give you the demo data in your official instances because that is official one. That is not that is not should that should not contain any any kind of a garbage. This is just a dummy data for the PDI. And why this dummy data has been given so that I as a user can understand how the field has been populated. OK, so this is the one thing. Now the question come. That these on the top part, I'm, I want to discuss these things very, very carefully here because these are the points little to be important. If you see this icon. This is called the funnel icon. Or someone say filter icon as well. So this icon help you. To do a kind of a filtration on your multiple records. See now you can see 20 records here, but maybe you have a question that Atul, I want to see the incidents where the priority is one only. How you will so either you can do one. You scroll two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Either this is the way. Then again, it is a manual. Suppose these are the 40. You can still count. If this is the 4000, then what you will do? Then we will use our funnel icon for the filtration part. Okay. I'll I'll come to this part little later. Just just on the overview perspective, I am giving you. Okay. That is a that is the first point you have to be remember. Second point. Let's say. Atul, I want to see <clears throat> the total number of incidents as per the priority. Like out of 40, how many are P1, how many are P2, how many are P3, and how many are P4. So if you want these kind of operations, then what you have to be do? Just go to the required field, <clears throat> right click, and select the group by. <clears throat> group by priority. If I click on this, it will do automatically for you. So now I can see this thing. <clears throat> Critical 17, high 4, moderate 7, low 3, planning 9. I don't want to be see like this. Ungroup. <clears throat> Go and ungroup it. Simple. I want to see by the state. Group by state. But you can see here. Now, if you want to go by the priority, go by priority. Now, I want to group by on the open date. Let me ungroup first <clears throat> and try to group it now. There's a no grouping function on the dates. The reason can be because a date store the everything. Seconds up to seconds this store. So I know that every all the incidents are not going in the same time. Even seconds can be different. Then there's a no purpose of doing the grouping on the dates. But something you can do in the reporting section. I want to see the incident of the last day only, or the yesterday only, or the or the last week only. That that I can show you. But grouping cannot be possible on the Dates. If you want to see the pie charts or by uh, these things for the state wise. Click on the pie charts. These are the things which are making service now as a user friendly. It see it will create a complete report for you with the pie charts. See you are in the reporting module now. Up to this level service now done the enhancements in the tool for you so now you can see quick nothing to be do nothing is worry here i have a complete report ready with me clear i'll i'll not discuss this part let me go back to the same thing incident only
open. Or let me say all. Instead of open, I say all. So then the count should be high. Okay, good. Now I have a 67. Up to this point, anyone has any, any doubt, any question? <clears throat> Anyone? Anyone has any doubt? Any question? Okay, no doubt. Good. Now let me proceed to the next point here. Okay, in the list view, I have seen. No, if we, if we need to make any chart Sorry. against the this uh, open thing, how to do that? I mean, under open, I mean, we have date, right? So this date, yes. how many cards are open or something? If I have to make, how, how, then how should I make? I'll, I'll, I'll come into that part. So number one, on the open, you cannot create the charts from here. You had to be go to specific filter condition only. In the reporting, you can still make, but not here at least. In the list view, you cannot be do that part. Because remember that if you have 67 incidents and all 67 has a different open date, even the seconds also different. Maybe for, for us say hey, 21, 22, what's metal? It's a just one second, but for a system, it's a second, it's a second. It is a measurement term for them. It is a uh, differentiation point for them, right? So for these, you cannot done. But now if you want to filter out these, these data specifically, maybe you want to get into the Excel sheet or something like that. So what you can do, you can go to the funnel icon here. Go here. And here what I'll do, I'll use these fields. Let me go here and search for the field like open this one. Okay. Now the question comes, Atul, from where this open come? <clears throat> this we will discuss in tomorrow's close when we start when we are going to start for the uh, this thing, what I can say table structures. Then I'll show that where this open has been come. You want to see the incidents which has been opened by this manner. You can see yesterday. Click on the run. There's nothing created on the yesterday. Click on the funnel icon. Maybe I can say last three months and run. Still, I did not get because it is a, it is a dummy data. It is complete dummy data. Not not so that when service now created this. Let me say last. Uh, last year. And run. You can put a specific date as well. So now you can see. Fine. Still, you cannot do. Still, you cannot do the pie charts or by by uh, bar here because it is not a feasible solution. Service now saying on the dates the charts are tough. Even where you have a seconds as well, then it is it is a kind of impossible work. Okay, now let me say I'm I'm building a hierarchy for this particular things. I want to see that okay, these many incidents has been open in the last year. How many of them are a P1? Again, I click here. And here I will going to be used the operators and all. And means when both conditions satisfy or means either one of the satisfy. I'll put the end condition and. It is priority. Let's go and search for the priority here. Priority is what one you want. I want one. Now I have 22. 47 was there. Now I have a 22. Now I put a one more condition here. Let me see the state. And state is in progress. Run. 11. And this is my final results now. Let's take example. Okay, first first point. Atul, can I download these results in Excel sheet? Yes. And click any of the field. And go to export. 
where you want to download Excel, CSV, XML, JSON, PDF. In PDF, we have detail, detail portrait, landscape and portrait. And export set. Export set, you can leave it as of now. I will not tell you these things. And this is a homework for uh, who is the Laura and Tan. OK, Kim, no, note down these points for today's homework. You guys need to be see the different options of. Export. That what this export do up to this level? See what is the difference between these two? Why detailed and without detailed is there? OK, try to explore these options now. At least sorting you can see. Click on the visual task group by you can check these things you can check. Export you can check. The rest you can still leave it. That's not an issue. But these options you need to be start now. So you can export in the any of the format Excel, CSV, where you want to go. Now the question come. Atul, I need this <coughs> these things on the daily basis. Because I am an incident manager and I want to see that how many incidents are open in the last one day or one, two days. And I need to be push my team for the quick resolution. Do I need to create this filter daily basis? No, I never say. Then what you can do? Click on the funnel icon here. And generally, generally I messed up these things and go to this place and click on the create favorite. And I'll give a name. H7. I'll give a color. I'll give a this and click on the done. It means I am creating this as a favorite for me and you can see here. Click here. So instead of creating this, this filter condition again and again, daily and daily, you have a favorite has been made. Question can become. Is any restrictions on this favorite? No. There's a no restrictions on the favorite as many as you can do as many as you can create. OK, that is up to you and this is only applicable for me, not for anyone else. Now if I go here. And do the filter. Mm, it is gone. Filter. OK, I did not save it filter. OK, so OK, this is the one thing that is I call the favorite. Let me open this and try to save as well, save as well. Save as a filter, not as a favorite. Save name is I INC. And now you can save. Now you can share this filter with everyone. If I say everyone, now you guys also can see this particular favorite, this particular filter in your incident table. And now it become a global one. So be careful if you're creating something. If you want to share, share only with me or with the group. Group is a specific set of person. So I say only I'll share with the group and I'll say group is. Dash seven. Admin. Sirf unhi logo ko dekhi ga. Save. My filter has been saved. Now you can go here and you can see. It's gone my one. My open is no. What was the name we give? Any idea? Or we forget? Not sure why it's not be showing here. Otherwise, it, it it will come here as well. Now let me let me go this point. Okay. So generally, the these options has been used by the service desk. L1 team because they need to be checked that is any any new incident is in the bucket or not. That is the thing. Now the question come Atul, suppose I want to see only the incidents. Where priority is one and state is in progress. Shall I create a new filter condition? No, what you can do just go and click on this. Then it will remove this particular condition. And your results are there. You can see here. 
So it means what I what option I want to tell you that if you click on this, it will remove that particular condition. So if you have a five or six filter condition and you want to see the different different results just for analysis purpose something, then you can remove this options and you can proceed further in that case. Clear anyone has any doubt here? Then I'll, I'll proceed further. Atul, uh, how do you mark that as favorite? The conditions which you have applied. OK, so you can go here. And click here, create favorite. And then you can give the name, give the color, give the option and it will come here. So if I say here, let's say. The green color. With this and done. Till here now. So today you have to do the practice of these things that how I can create uh, my favorites. And the reason is that being a cons consultant, these things must for us to be known because these are the quick win for you in front of the customer. Because customer always say, hey, I want to see only these many tickets. What should I do? Better you say, go and create, your, create the favorite. Simple. Now, if you remember that during the service now capability part, we say that service now has come up with the natural language as well nowadays. Remember, let, let me open uh, all incidents here. Let me say, let me go for the change. Is Amit is there in the call today? I don't see Amit. Okay, maybe you know that. Okay, let's take example here. So we know that there's there's a concept, there is a term. Uh, let me add one. Okay, one. Uh, let me go to the natural language first. Let me add few columns here. And let me add these two columns here just to show you. <clears throat> okay. Now we created a filter condition with help of the funnel icon. In, uh, we said that change type is equal to emergency or state is equal to new or priority is equal to four, the risk is equal to moderate. Like we done in the incident as of now. Why I, I intentionally I change to the change uh, this this table to the change so that we can get a different mode or a different flavor of the other models. Now in the natural language processes, click on this. You can see. In this you have to be just type the things. Whatever and show something. Tips for improving your queries. Okay, yeah, here. Okay, now say risk. So, like this. Well, Let's see what it say. Will it be able to find the results for me or not? Yes. Oh, it's taking very high. It means I done, I write something wrong here in this evaluation. It's going very high. Or let's say. Priority is. Ask. So now you can see these things are coming. So it means that you can get your results by writing the normal English as well. It is new. And see on the top, it is creating the filter condition for you automatically. 
let me remove this. Now I'll say. Number. Start with CNG. 0040. See. This is the natural language filter given by service now. Now, if you notice one thing, is that in this particular query, what I say is start with. Definitely you have a question, Atul. You are lying here completely. And you're taking the benefit of your experience. You know. That what this mean here start with, but we don't know. OK, so let me go and click here. And tell you something more important point from the. Operation perspective. Till now we done the search on the filter part. Everyone agree with the funnel icon or with the natural language processes? We've done that part. Do you think that service now also have some another option for the search? If I want to know that how many incidents or sorry, how many changes are the risk as a high? What or how I can search it? I can go here and put a condition. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, I can go here and write the natural language. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now I can go here and just put asterisk. Put high. And see the beauty of service now. Your filter condition has been generated and you are getting these results. Can Question for you to be add into the today's homework. How many type of search available in service now? People should get the answer. It now thing is that Atul again, you experience, you are taking benefit. If we remember that in in our when we do in the coding part, or when we do any filtration, we have a wild characters we know. Specifically, the people who are from the from the operations perspective, infra part, who are in the Unix or Linux part, they know that there the wild characters are there. Like wild characters are like star percentage. Mainly these two are the wild characters we use. So if you see, let let me go here, and I put it here, and now you see the query here. Star is. L let me remove this condition. What it's showing here short description contains change. Why? Because I put star star says that you are searching for a specific word in this area. If I remove the star and now I click on the enter. Now what it be showing? Starts with change. Not contain because there's a no condition there, no star there. Now, if I put the star here and then enter, short description starts with change star. Or if I put like percentage, or let me put like this, ends with change. Star and percentage has a very major role in in the service now area. I as a consultant, you as a consultant, you as a reporter, you as a management guy who always worried about the stats, who always worried about the facts and figures. We guys use always star and asterisk here. So now if going forward, if you find me, I'm searching like this star and change. You should understand that Atul is searching a change where the change word has been mentioned. Let me let me say star two zero one. So like this. 
now the records are 12. Earlier record was 11 only. Maybe if I filter out more. Now you can see. Don't say Atul, you end me or no. No, 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 no. It's saying star. If I put like this. Then it will be done. But if I put like this, then result will be zero. So you have to be remember that these operations you can do on the any of the field as well. Like state. In state, we can put like this as well, like new. Or if you want, you can put like new. Anything can be done because these are the fixed values. These are the fixed text. Which are not going to be changed, but in this area, the things can be changed. Clear till this point, anyone has any doubt, any question? The, um, the, yes, King, go ahead. The, is, is there a reason why the, the saved filter did not show up? Sorry, any, any reason for? Why, well, you know, we tried to save the filter. And it didn't show up when we try to run it. Um, I I need to be see, but it it should it should actually let me try to save this as a filter. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> so now you can see here it is there. Maybe something which have missed here and there only. So you can see your filter is there right now. Okay. I, I'll I'll recommend instead of saying the filter, better you create your favorites here. Because if you will save a filter, you have to be go here and go to filter and then you have to be open. But if you put a favorite, you will find in the this list only. That is the benefit of doing the uh, filter in this part, favorite part. Okay. Now the last point on, on this area specifically is that if I click on this icon, now we call this icon as a gear icon, G-E-A-R. This is a gear icon. This is also the gear icon, but people call it a setting button and this as a gear icon only. The reason is because it has a dot here and it has a no dot here. Plus, this is again for your personalization part. Suppose I am I am a change manager, okay, and I want to see only few of the fields here. I don't want to see the risk. I don't want to see the assigned to. Then go here, and you can personalize this list. See, it's saying personalize. It means if you are making any changes on your login ID. It will be only work for you, not for anyone else in the system. So now, and these two, these boxes are called the slush bucket. S L U S H E S slush. Sorry, S L U S H slush bucket. You are moving from one bucket to the another bucket. This is available. This is selected. So now, if I want to see the created date. Created. I want to see the impact. I want to see the expected start, acceleration, model, SLA, on hold, order. I can do anything. Maybe if you say, let me do this thing. I click open. And now you can see I can have a. Let me load. So now if you can see. Those many fields of this. These all fields are for the change table. But we never recommend to use all fields of a table on the list view. Number one, the reason can be it will make your page heavy to be load. Because earlier you just want to see only five fields. Now you want to see 95 fields. Definitely system will go in the background, pick up the things, bring it up for you and then it show. 
Okay, so we always keep and plus it increases calling part as well. See, if I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten time I need to be called. Plus I forget that what is the number I'm looking for here. It is not. It is not like an Excel sheet. It's not a freeze. You can put freeze here. You can put freeze here. But yes, it's a good option. Maybe if someone from service now is watching this, can implement. Can freezing can be possible on the list view? See on the top you have the freezing, but on the left you don't have a freezing. Right? So these things. Clear everyone? Any doubt? Any question? If you click on this, these things will be gone. This one. Yes, anyone has any doubt? Any question? Anyone? Now one thing is left. If you go here, don't discuss about this view. View have a separate concept. We'll discuss in later on when we have a later understanding. Filter we know. Group by you can do group by from here as well. Show how many records you want to see on a single page. Hundred records in a one page. So when it's will load. See now it's taking a lot of time because for hundred records you need to bring the hundred fields together here. Oops, it's not showing. Oh, it also showing. Oh, it's loaded here. It is here. So let me do a a good person, a good consultant, never keep everything on the single page. Here and click OK. <clears throat> you can go and see these options. This is this is completely for you. Now go and do your do your R and D on this part. Compact row, active row highlighting. Let's see what's what it's doing. See it's highlighting now. If you see in the background, it's highlighting. Maybe if I change the color, then it is easy for us to identify. <clears throat> this one. So these options you can go and try at your side. Okay. Clear anyone, everyone, sorry. Everyone, clear any doubt, any question. <clears throat> I will say yes, no, Hana. OK, good. If clear, then let's proceed further. OK. The next point which I'm going to be bring now. Is called the uh, what is the advantage yes. of creating these groups? Uh, sometimes one person can be in different groups. Some records can be in multiple groups. Groups, the, pur the purpose of group is basically to keep a, the same set of uh, users who have the same objective. That is that is the purpose of a group. So like you will keep all the database person in a one group so that if you want to assign any ticket, anyone can pick up in that particular group instead of putting the different people in the different groups there. Okay. okay. So, so groups are one of the functionality. So, so like if I say that, in in your phone as well on your WhatsApp, you have a different different groups, one family group, one office group, one friends group, one maybe a re reunion group, one from the previous college, one from the previous school. Why not you keep everything in a, everyone in a one group? The reason can be everybody not know everyone in that particular group. Secondly, it will be losing your privacy of one person. Chat with the other person as well. So when you want that, okay, I want to discuss these things with only family only. So you put in the family group only. You want to discuss, I want to discuss only with the uh, my college mates. Maybe you are going for a reunion or planning for a reunion. Then same thing. So this is the purpose of the group here. Okay. <clears throat> now I'll go to the next part. And this is called the update set. On the notepad. 
by the way, I, I, I purchased my new laptop as well yesterday. It will be delivered today. So hope from tomorrow this this lunas will be will be gone. Where's the notepad? Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay, let me open this. Update set is a topic which will be covered in the two phases. Phase one is today. Phase two will be after 20 or 30 days. Approximately 30 days you can you can see. OK. Update set. The question come. Number one point. Atul, what is the meaning of the update set? Definitely. And the second question come. Why we need update set? As I can understand, everyone who are in this particular class know that we have mainly three environments. Test, I, I hope everybody is clear on that part. In case anyone has any doubt, please, without any any doubt, you can ask me. Dev, test, prod. Dev means a place where development people do or developer do their work. They do the code changes. Test means where the business user do the Testing. Someone say test. I'll put someone say UAT as well. Someone says beta as well. M multiple things are there. Okay, so let's say. So what what standard I want to be used? Dev, UAT, and prod. UAT mayor means where the business user do the testing. And finally, prod is called stand for the production where actual users is using the system. Now take example. Kid. Who is in the second class? When you say that he clear. The second class. And now go to third class. When you will say this statement, there is a kid who is in the second class as of now. When you say that he cleared the second class and now he can go to the third class. Yes, guys, tell me. I have a simple question. You are doing yes. Uploading uh, the norms required for completion. Okay, norms. What do you add in norms? Attendance, norms? examination, okay. attendance, attendance plus examination. Okay. What in examination you count? Let's say you say daily test. Monthly test, yearly, and then yearly. If let let me remove all these things, attendance and this. Let's say exam. If I say I am running a school, and I say that if any student who are be appearing well in daily test, in weekly test, in monthly test, in half yearly test, and then yearly test. Then he will go to the. He's getting promotion to the next class. Correct. Agree everyone on that part or anyone has any doubt. Now when I say that daily. He just covered the. 2% of slippers. 
when i say weekly that says 4% means 2% of week and 2% of the daily if i go monthly i say 30% Say 80%. I'm just putting random numbers here, don't worry. Yearly 100%. Right? So it means that every when I when I say year, it means that particular student is has a knowledge from the day one till the year ends now. He know what he taught in daily classes. In weekly classes, in monthly exams, in half yearly, and finally in the yearly things. And how we do this thing? Our teachers take an exam on the day-to-day -day basis. If so, let let's take example of my kid. Last week he has assessments. He clear his assessment, and teacher says yes. Now he is okay to proceed for the next week class this is a concept called the update set don't be confused now now come back from this particular area so the thing is that if i come scroll up here if my developer develop anything in the dev environment i need to bring that code into the uat environment and that movement is called update set movement. And the changes is called changes need to be captured is called the update set. In a, in a very layman language, I come back again. If you want to, this, this is this is my pet example. If you want to relocate from one house to the another house what you will do you will call to a mover and packer they will come and they will bring a different different boxes in a one box they will be they will put crockery in a one box they will put glass glass work specifically in a one box they will put kitchen things in a one box they will put grocery in a one box, they will put books. And they take that boxes, put in the truck, go to the destination, give you the boxes, done. And you then unbox your things, put the things on the kitchen, in the bookshelf, all the things. And you say, yes, my new house has been settled now. If so, so now in this example, that boxes is called the update set where you are capturing your things which you want to move from one place to the another place and this is the concept called the update set in service now let me show the technical or the definition here <clears throat> update set is a group of configuration changes yes it is important Update set never ever. Let me put a charger in the unit. Hmm. Update set never ever move your data. When I say data means I'm talking about any kind of a data, foundation data also. They never move your data. Your users, your group, location, these things never get moved via update set. To move this data from one instance to another instance, we have a something different that we'll discuss in the export import time. But for the time being, I'm saying that only the configuration changes, your code changes, your business rules, your workflow changes will be captured here and will 
move from one place to the another place. When I say place means I'm talking about the dev instance to the UAT instance, from the UAT to the production instance. I, I need everyone point here. Are you guys clear on this part? Then I'll take you on the service now things. When, when people ask me, Atul, what do you mean by the techno functional? This is the functional now because we are missing on the route sometime. And after that, I'll go for the technical part. OK, let me open from here. Uh, here, Veer, any doubt? OK, catchy. Any doubt? You can you can speak, speak. Any doubt? Anyone has any doubt? Sneha, Avi, yeah. Bumi, no, I don't. I'm good. Laura, Kane, Deepika. So now Kane put okay. Kane put one more question. You guys need to be read about a little bit on the update set. Usage of updates. I don't be don't go in the service now that how to move, what to do. No, that is not a work as of now. The only intention for this particular thing is that just to tell you that what is the update set. Now we are going to be create an update set. Why I am showing to create update set because today we are going to do or maybe in the in the coming days when we are going to do a changes in my instance. We'll create table, we'll create catalog item, we'll create SLA. We will move those update set in one of your instance. Maybe I can say, okay, the bigger give your instance detail. Let's move my data in your instance. Maybe Kane says, okay, we'll give me your instance. I'll move your data in my instance. Uh, sorry, I learned, I, I'm using the wrong word. It's not data. It's a configuration. OK, so that is the purpose of the update set here. So how you can create and everybody need to be create their own update set. In the my go to in in my instance only you have to be create your own update set today. Go here. And search for the update set. OK, before that, let me do one thing before that. What to do? Go to the settings. Go to the developer. And tick this box. What say show update set picker in header so that you can see on the top. Why? Why you why you want to see that what? Mobile data you are using. Suppose I have a two sims in a single phone. I want to always know that which sim I'm, I'm using for my mobile data. I keep always on the top. So same thing applicable here. I want to see that in which update set. My configuration is going. I should know that in which box the mover and packer guy is putting the crockery. Because tomorrow I need to be unpacked that I should know that what is the box it's having a crockery. So that I can keep it little safe. And now if you see I'll put it as the update set as a picker header. It is showing as a on the top. The default update set given by service now is the default global. Click on this default global. Fundamental practice in the industry. Never ever use the default global set, global update set in any of your work. And that is when I'm telling you that everybody will everyone will create their own update set. OK, now let's go here and search for the update set. Click on the local update set here. OK, and now what you have to do? Click on the new. I am creating from my perspective and I'll give you the I'll give you the work to you as well. So I'm putting this as a batch. 7 LNG. 
what you have to do? You have to put your name first and then batch seven. So like it should be Deepika underscore batch seven, Sneha underscore batch seven, Kane underscore batch seven. OK. And. Don't do anything else on on, on this particular form. Make it as the in progress means in pro, what is the meaning of the in progress means that. I am using this update set to capture all my changes. <clears throat> OK, if it is closed, it, it, is, it is complete. It will not take any kind of a change in it means. So it's, it's like until unless the box is open, you can keep the things in that box. Once box has been marked closed, you cannot put. You have to create a new box only. OK, now you can see two options. <clears throat> OK, one, one more thing I, I, I put it here. When you guys are creating your update set in the parent, put this update set as a parent. Because I am so let's say example that I am creating a parent update set. Why? Because when we want to move the changes from my instance to someone other instance, I'll move everyone changes in a one go. So as of now, because when it be saved, you can use this as a update set for the parent. OK, so now you can see two options submit. And submit and make current. If you click submit. Or save anything you can do. Nothing is be nothing has been changed here. It means you say that you you told to the that uh, mover packer guy. Hey boss use a this box, but he is still using the. Previous box, so what you have to do? You had to be explicitly tell to that particular person boss. I am making this as a current box, so click on this. Make this my current set. If I click on this, then you can see the change here. Your current update set has been changed to this global. It means. Now you can see it is not showing global. It's showing batch seven. It means now for the next at least 20 or 25 days. The changes we are doing. The configuration we are doing, the customization we are doing will be captured in this particular place. As of now, just create this and forget. In in the in next four or five days, I, I show that what is we are be doing here. For you guys, you have to be go create a new update set. Put this update set as a parent here. If anyone is logged in now, I'm sure people everybody is logging in now. Go and create one update set quickly so that I can see here. I can see the child update set here. OK, I can see. Wow. Kane has created already. Nice. Thanks, Kane. So now you can see he put this particular part. So everybody name should be appear here. OK, maybe let me refresh my list. Let me refresh my list from here. Nobody has done that part. Just, just one or one day max, maybe not, not, not tomorrow, maybe on, on a Wednesday. You will be able to see the changes here as well. Oh, I done this thing or maybe I can see this. Oh, I done this thing, this thing. No, so many things I done. See, nobody did it till now. Let me refresh it. Reload my page. Three. OK, Laura has been created good. So everybody should create this update set and don't change your update set till the time I tell you. Make sure the changes, the exercises you guys are doing. Should be captured in the update set. Clear everyone. Anyone has any doubt, any question till this point? Atul, uh, you just told not to submit as a current set because I directly clicked on submit and make it as a current one. Yes, that, that's fine. You you had to make it current only. Cut, okay. What 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 is the meaning of current means that 
it will take the changes in your own update set yeah so you should able to see like like if i say it's neha right yeah let me impersonate you so logically you should be taking this as your update set so i can see these many update sets are there so if you are be logging because i in percent maybe there is an i am able to see my one only if you are be there so let's see like this okay so that my change should be captured in that that area so always remember why why these things are important because every developer do his or her work in a specific update set so how how practically how practically this has been used suppose let's say example i have put here one let's take it my only okay let's say example in in this batch i give veer sneha and dipika that you three guys need to be develop addition page subtraction page and the division page or divide page you three are start working on their requirements and to start developing on that part now how i will make sure or how you will make sure that your changes should be go in your pocket in your pocket only or in your basket only or in your box only only and only possible via your update set sometime sometime happen it that by mistake oh atul i captured my changes in your update set that's wrong and that is the reason every time when when you are going for a development part it is always clearly remember before starting any kind of a development always make sure you have your own update set and you set update set on the current part like as of now i am doing this as update set so that i i i want to make sure that my all changes in the next 20 30 days should be captured at this particular place only and you guys have to be use your update set only don't use mine one no use your own update set maybe tomorrow i say okay abhi your your changes are creating a problem for me so i'll take it out or kick it out is is update set from my my parent one and i'll move forward so as of now don't be confused much just understand this point because the phase 2 will be give you more clarity on the update set perspective clear but everyone use his or her own update set nobody use my update set now okay ji anyone has any doubt any question till this point so please can you please uh, talk us about the, your instance that we get to use can you please uh, post that in the chat box you you want sorry my instance name yeah you you said we should use the the is your own instance or is it a private one personal okay one? so so as of now you can use my instance okay i need one instance after 20 20 25 days then i will ask anyone then he or she can share his own instance as of now do the practice on my instance only okay that is the thing Okay. Anyone else? Any other doubt? Any other question? Clarification required here. Okay. Good. So let me stop the recording here now and take a quick.